And um, what I should be doing is recording this now, shouldn't I? This is where, uh, yeah, as you can see, yeah, you can see my, this is my back end, right? So I don't mind showing it. Um, it's, it's going to show you where the orders are and what happens and that sort of thing. Uh, we tend to we tend to put every single wedding on to the system and we do lots of portraits as well which we put into the system as well and I'm going to go through and explain how that all works and there's a more section which has events and gift registry. Now the, this is new. Who knows about the gift registry and the events and all that? Cool. I'm pretty excited about it myself because um, occasionally when you shoot an event, it's, it's really hard because I've actually put those photos under portraits and have to direct people, but now you can have your own event se section, which is really good. All right. But first things first, what I might do is go start with weddings and work my way through each section to show everyone how it works. So I think that's probably the best way to do it. Um, if you know half of what I'm gonna show you, don't worry about it. It's pretty straightforward. It's just for, um, we, I found that there's a lot of people out there that actually have signed up, but aren't using the program. <laughs> you know, So they've signed up, they paid $9 a month, and they're not using it at all. So this is a great example just to show you how to use it. So first thing we'll do is I've got a, um, a, an example of setting up a new job. So I should really record this, shouldn't I, um, Pavel? So, all right, start recording. Hey, this is pretty cool, hey? All right, so what, what we're going to do is, um, uh, Right, yeah, what, what we do when we set up an account, you go into your back end here and we go to the add a new wedding, which is pretty straightforward. You click on the new wedding thing there. Um, what I tend to do is put in the bride and groom's name, now, like um, Mary and John, and then we put in their date, uh, the 12th, of the 12th, say the 12th, which is coming up this year. The reason I do that is because they're for future weddings coming up. I always like to put that up online straight away as soon as I get a booking for the simple reason that I want their family and friends to come to that site and register with us. Now who uses the registration for online registrations? It's really a great way to gather names and num numbers and details of everything that we need to do. Hello. So, um, so, so I'll run through and explain how that works as well. We've only just started Zerula, so you're cool. Um, and then I put the event date in here, which is obviously, I'm going to go through to find the right event date, which is that date there. And I set up a password for John and Mary Usually, the, whichever way, system that you use, uh, I tend to set up a password with some numbers and a name, and then I create, create that. Now, once that's created, um, there's a registration section. This is prior to the wedding happening. So the idea is to let the, we let the couples know that they can have their family and friends come to the site before the wedding and register online that they're interested in receiving an email from us once the photos go up online with the password and the link. Right? So the idea behind that is to make sure that you've got a lot of people coming to the site getting interested in it. There's a couple of benefits in that. What we do once they've registered with us, then they have a link back to our website which offers them a portrait session and a certain spend value for being a friend of the couple who are getting married. Now, you look at it like this, you shoot 50 weddings a year and you get one person from all the wedding guests that say, oh, we want to take up that offer and do a portrait session. There are 50 new portrait shoots that you've got for the year, right? 
And that's a cost in marketing of absolutely 